What is this? Like, I just need some copy of right now. I'm depressed, man. It's fat bitch in front of my screen as well. You want to eat my food? Take it. Take it. Idiot. You want to sit there looking like a fucking circle. It's Danny. She fell in love with... Well, Danny. I'm judged because I spent $4,000 on a wedding to marry myself. Her self-love ceremony hit the headlines and the critics came out in force. Yo, this is the dumbest, most narcissistic I've ever seen. You can't even commit to a diet for yourself. I was scared. I was scared for my- Amen to that, hallelujah. Myself, I was scared for my family. Today, Danny is going to reveal her unusual relationship status to someone new. What, what the, the fuck is going on? <laughs> Hi, my name is Danny. I am 31 years old, and I am an influencer and a body image coach. No, no, lose weight. I hate this shit. Voila. And I'm tilted already, so I'm going to just be blunt. You're a fat bitch that's, that's empowering body. And it's like, oh, you need to be comfortable in your whole body. It's okay if you're fat. Run it. No, you. You got to run the fucking floor. You got to go on a diet. You look like Scooby-Doo. With more treats. Like, I don't get it, bro. It's crazy. No, no. You're not going to do fat empowerment and sit there and act like obesity is healthy. You're not going to do that. You're not. I, I understand why she's mirroring herself because there's two bodies inside of her. Like, that's not good, gentlemen. It's bullshit. You can't fat it's empowerment. I'm flashy. You can't fat empowerment when you're literally obese and you're unhealthy. You can't. It's just not a thing. Like, you're just a loser. You're literally, you're literally spreading nonsense to dumb f Before the wedding, I spent a couple years in therapy, just really trying to find myself. During my self-love journey, I stopped drinking, I stopped having sex, I was in therapy, I spent a lot of quality time with myself, taking myself on dates, just really learning what I like. Did you dream of getting married as a child? Not to anybody. <laughs> when I was a child, I dreamed of marrying myself. I always just thought the wedding was about the woman anyway. Why can't I? That literally looks like a purple towel on her body. That's crazy. I love myself. Why can't I celebrate myself? I'm not hurting anybody. I planned the wedding before I let anyone know about it because I did not want anyone to deter me from marrying myself. My big day was so special because all of my... I love you. You love Barney head ass. I'm done, bro. Every day we gotta deal with new bullshit in this damn world. Family and friends came Every to support day. me. My nephew walked me down the aisle. I did not have any bridesmaids or groomsmen standing up. Everyone got to sit on the front row because it's my wedding, okay? But you're there, you're looking cute. When I got to the altar, uh, there was this mirror. I just got to see myself. It was super emotional in that moment. Looking at my reflection, who I am, how I've grown. I put the ring on myself. What the f is that, a dice? Am I, am I bugging out? Does, that literally looks like a dice. Well, uh, what are you going to roll, a six or a four? And I said I do. Do you promise to value yourself? Yes. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I posted my wedding shortly after I married myself. But then a few months later, uh, hate pages picked up my, my wedding. There are pages created to make fun of people. And then more and more pages started picking it up. I was on Fox News and their intent was to embarrass me. A lot of people had a lot of negative things to say. Cough, cough, narcissism. <sighs> no wonder she can't get a man. What does that even mean? I'm pretty. Guys, she must be so lonely. Absolutely not. I have me. Yo, this is the dumbest, most narcissistic I've ever seen. Make a commitment to yourself. You can't even commit to a diet. What a joke. I mean. Sounds like someone's in their mom's basement. Whenever we don't like how someone expresses their self-love, we use narcissism. I'm just confident. And I think people have a hard time accepting someone who looks like me be confident. Because we are told that in our society that people who look like me should feel shame and sad about who they are. The most hurtful comment I experienced online was people saying that I had to marry myself because no one would want me. 
What messages are we sending people? I think everybody, all my viewers in the chat, including myself, all thought the same thing. Honestly, I'm not trying to, but I thought that was self-explanatory. Of size, that they're unlovable, that they're unworthy. That's not true. I can get married to a man tomorrow. Today, I'm going on a blind date. I don't know who he is. I know nothing about him. I am feeling nervous. I wasn't before, but now I am getting a bit nervous. What's your name? He's not liking that. Bro got paid to do this and hates his life after he's seen her. It's okay, bro. Danny, what's your name? Adam, nice to meet you. Adam, You're nice so to meet beautiful. you. Oh, thank you. Oh, I'm fantastic. Bro forgot to bring one fire rune, one law rune, and three air. If you know, you know, chat. Well, look, straight up, I would have TP'd right out of there. Bring the f***ing Varrock teleport and just go back to VVE. -V -E. Well, I'm dead ass. Terrible, what is that? I feel like I dress too. Uh, it's okay, so, it's okay. I'm a fly so girl, nice. so yeah, just next time you'll know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> next time I gotta get my tux on. So wait, I thought she's married though. Is she cheating on herself? Respect. You know what I mean? We'll go matching and stuff. Exactly. Well, I have something interesting to tell you. Oh, I'm ready. Okay. All yours. <sighs> I married myself. You married yourself? Yeah. What? Yeah, you want to see it? Yes, what the heck? That is amazing. How, okay, now let's talk about this. Okay, okay. So what Ask the, the question. is going on? <laughs> Where does that come from? Like, why, why? Originally, I wanted to marry myself because I wanted to just have a wedding and do a ceremony. But when COVID happened and I couldn't do that, it turned into something deeper than that. It was about me turning over a new chapter, living the life I always wanted to live on and letting go the shame and the hurt that I felt all those years. And I read vows and everyone committed to a self-love journey and people said I- Now this guy's gonna be like, wow, that's amazing. Like that, and he's gonna be capping, watch. Do to themselves, holding their ring up in the air. You know what? At first I was thrown off, but that idea is so beautiful. See, some bullshit, bro. Just has to, has to just like stroke me and say, wow, that's amazing. Yeah, great idea. Like, no, it's not. No, it, oh, that's very unique. Like, what a loser, bro. You can't just be honest, huh? Thank you me. are an amazing person. <laughs> You're an amazing person. Thank you. That is a beautiful, I think more people need to do that. A lot of people were crying at the- I was doing tricks on it, bro. What is the f are you saying? wedding because the story that I shared about my self-love journey really touched them and to hear people say like look I'm going on this journey with you too I had a niece and she was there and she loves telling people my auntie Didi married herself and I married myself and it's really cool to see a kid four years old is talking about self-love because she attended my no it's not cool no it's not wedding I really like people who live their life regardless of what anybody else thinks they're gonna live their life how they want to mm -hmm. and that's you're that you know you're not interested in what people have to say about you you're not interested in what people have to think about you you're not interested so in any of those things like, come on. what did your family say when you did that damn bro like well some people are just born ugly like i'm not even gonna say i'm handsome i'm just saying like you lost bro like, well, like, that's crazy. Like, that's all I'm going to say. Like, okay, I'm not, I'm not I'm saying I'm handsome. I'm not saying I'm like just some, some uh, five out of tenner. But damn, you lost. I told my parents I had an announcement and they were like, what? My mom was like, oh, my stomach hurts. I don't know if I can take an announcement from you. My dad at first wasn't for it. They kept calling it a thing for a very long time. And I was like, mama, my wedding is not a thing. My dad walked up to me at the end of the wedding and said, this was beautiful, and gave me a hug. <laughs> she kind of does look like Greg, like if he was transgender. Like, yeah, I could see that. <laughs> My wedding was all about releasing all of the things that were holding me back. This guy said Oda, her life is based off people's opinions. Because she, she's on social media. The fat are so hard. So you flamed her and then said you were her. Wow, some of you guys are just lost, bro. Just, just stop talking. Seriously, like, I don't even know what you're saying anymore. I think marrying myself has made me stronger. 
just to do something that big and that bold for myself. And now I know that I can go after what I- Hell no, 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 no. Hell to the no, hell to the no, to the no.